The TSA announcing earlier today that they will extend the federal mask mandate on transportation through April 18th. It was previously set to expire next Friday. The move comes as virtually every state has declared an end to their individual mask mandates over the last several weeks, with Hawaii, the last holdout, announcing they would do so on Tuesday. I want to bring in NBC News correspondent Heidi Prisbala, who scooped this news earlier today. And Heidi, there's a lot of speculation that the federal government would go the way of the states here. What do we know about this decision to continue this mandate? Yeah, Garrett, and for that reason, there's a lot of incoming here, particularly from politicians who don't like that decision. But here's the news. The news here really is more the formulation of a new policy for living with COVID for the long term that does not include universal masking on airplanes and buses and rail. That's more the news than the 30-day extension. There are consultations, Garrett, going on right now between the Department of Transportation and the CDC to determine which benchmarks should they use for when masks will be required and when they won't be. Officials are telling me that it's one thing to use new, more lax benchmarks for masking when you're talking about individual local communities, but when you're making health and safety decisions based on data coming from multiple locations, which is the case with travel, it's a different challenge. Here's the White House press secretary from earlier today. If we're in Washington, D.C. and we're in a green zone or a yellow zone, you can make a clear assessment. If you're moving from one zone to another and you're picking people up from one zone to another, it's a little bit different. And that requires some consultation, which is what they're going to endeavor to do between now and April 18th. So right now, Garrett, as of March 3rd, more than 90 percent of the U.S. population is in a location with low or medium COVID-19 community levels. But all of the COVID health experts that I've talked to expect there to be additional surges, including potentially this summer, potentially this fall. And if you recall, Garrett, it was last year when the CDC told everyone to unmask Remember the summer of freedom? Oh, yeah. The Delta came knocking. So this is about putting in place a policy that can respond responsibly to these peaks and valleys of the virus that are really going to be part of endemic COVID. Garrett? I, I guess I'm still struck by the tension here what you now have between states. You know, you say 90 percent of the country is in those low transmission areas. States going in one direction and the, the CDC going in a different direction here. I mean, it, unless you're flying from part of that 10 percent to another part of that 10 percent, how, how do they kind of defend that part of the decision? Really, what they're saying is that this is not a permanent policy. This is a 30-day extension, so they can figure this out, right? There may be tension, but again, they say these are two different situations, and the CDC put out the benchmarks that these localities should be using. So if... In Peoria, there's nobody hospitalized with COVID. And in Cleveland, the hospitals are on fire. Mm -hmm. What should the call be? This is, this is really the questions that they're dealing with right now. And they say, you know, considering what happened last summer, they just don't want to rush into another situation where they tell everybody to just toss their masks. Um, and then we're dealing with a situation of unruly passengers really angry if they've got to use them again.